Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your February 2024 Tarot and Oracle card reading. This is a reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading, but I do post new readings on Monday, then again on Friday. Mondays are always different every week. Fridays are a general reading, and we are going to begin right away here. All right, what advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please? Messages for Scorpio. All right, I'll lay out the tarot here. We're going to pull a sacred destiny oracle card, which have already been shuffled for the sake of time. And then... If you don't mind hitting the like button, I appreciate it. It helps so that people will see the reading in the algorithm. Okay, you've got the Four of Wands, Four of Cups, interesting. In your subconscious, you have the King of Cups. You're going to like that energy a lot. In the distant past, the King of, uh, Knight of Wands, pardon me. You have the Seven of Cups in the more recent past. Six of Pentacles is coming towards you. You're represented by the Four of Pentacles. Not a good time to ask you for a loan. The uh, or to ask you to overeat or anything else, any overindulgences. You're attracting the sun. You've got the ace of wands and your hopes and fears. Wheel of fortune. Oh, I love it. In the outcome, this is going to be good. Now, the bottom of the deck here, you've got the ace of cups, the king of swords, and the seven of pentacles. Well, I feel like you're going to have an uh, improvement increase in money here. All right, any negotiations, I feel like you're going to get a sweet end of the deal, whether it's you selling things or you as the buyer, okay? It's like, especially with the sun being here too. You have two aces. I like these two together a lot, but I'll tell you what, this looks pretty nice too, doesn't it? You've got the two aces with that wheel of life and the sun. You have a new beginning here that feels like magic. It's going to be exciting. And it feels like you can't catch a struggle, like everything moves forward with this. And it also, too, because you have this illumination kind of energy, anything you need to know, information you need to know, you're not moving forward skeptically or guessing or saying, I don't know, but I'll just try this. This is like a yes. This is very solid. It's yes, we're doing this. I even like it the way that it looks even like this. I have to do this because that was kind of bugging me. I've also realized recently that when you watch the readings, I, I watched one on a computer, how close I'm holding the cards to the to the uh, camera. So sorry, I'm trying to be a little farther away when I think of it. So either way, though, you've got a great reading here. Now let's get back to this Oracle card for a moment, and then we'll, we'll talk about these clarifiers. You have protection here, all right? So I mentioned before, you're not moving forward skeptically. You have an energy around you that's going to be very clear. So any decisions you need to make. And you've got, you know, with this Four of Pentacles, nobody's going to rush you. Because I got it back there with that Knight of Wands, like somebody trying to push you. And I feel like with this, as you move forward, if you've had somebody that was high pressure sales or something like that, I just don't see that continuing. And if you did have something like that, I feel like it's one of those times you'd get a call from like their manager apologizing, say, hey, that, that's not how we do things or the owner of a place. Now, in terms of relationships, if you've had your heart guarded, you have not wanted to let someone in. I feel like now is the time you have somebody coming in that is worth it. The sun will shine on you again, Scorpio. You will be standing in the sunlight of the spirit and you'll know freedom. And you'll know that feeling of safety and security and saying, I know I can open up again. Because, you know, when we close down, I talk about this from time to time. It's because life hurts so damn bad. And we say, I can't keep open right now. I got to shut this down right now because I just got hit again and I can't, I can't do this. So let me shut down for a while. And when the time is right, I'll reopen. So with the King of Swords here. Part of what that will do in this reading is he doesn't care what other people think. And so I feel like especially where money matters are concerned, I feel like that is going to really benefit you. He's also very shrewd with business. The swords were nobility when the cards were made. They were one of the wealthiest class. Those silver swords were costly. Those were not sticks. Those were expensive. So I do feel like with this, it's a time of, of gain. It's a time of with the seven of pentacles, a monetary gain. Sevens too, you have, let's see how many of those. Like, do you have 
For some reason, I thought, oh yeah, I guess you just have two. For some reason, I thought you had three. I think it's two fours and two sevens. Well, sevens are about safety and security. And so with that ace of cups coming in, it's a delivery right to you. It's like, we're here, let me offer this, this huge chalice of love just to you, just for you. And so any offers you get are going to seem like they're custom for you. Any books you read, you're going to feel like they were writing it for you. It's like everything feels tailor-made. And if it doesn't, it's going to be a four of cups. If it doesn't feel tailor-made, you're not having it. So with that four of cups, it is getting offers. It is having, for some, if you're in the dating game or if you are getting married, because that four of wands is a wedding, Again, you're not going to settle. It's like you'll keep searching until you get the right thing. If it's a wedding you're planning and there's certain decor or other items you want, or maybe it's a certain band or it's a certain person to do the wedding itself, I feel like you're going to hear you strike gold, like you get exactly what you're looking for. But in terms of a job too, though, with that four of wands, um, did I say you have three fours? I guess I didn't. You have three fours also. So with that four of wands, it's a it's a card of law of attraction. It's a card of growing. It's a card of leaving something that wasn't growing and walking into true freedom. So in terms of a job, if you're looking to have a remote job, or maybe you're not even and you're getting emails and you're getting recruited and you're saying, I'm not even on the market. And it's sort of a four of a cups thing because you're not even on the market, but the fours bring stability. They're the four legs of the table. So you are going to have stability from this and order from this. And the four of, of wands is a true celebration. So whatever it is that you're asking about, it's about to be your time to celebrate. Well, the king of cups is in your subconscious, which I love because with this king of cups, it's an energy that will serve you and you will be attracting people like crazy You'll be attracting situations that feel easy. They feel natural to you because they match your energy. It's oftentimes when we get out of alignment, we start attracting situations or we get into fear. That might be an even better way to say it. We get scared and we start attracting new situations and they're even more terrifying in reality. This is attracting sweet, sweet things. It's all the best things. And it's also, too, in terms of relationships, attracting someone who's emotionally available, but also understands you. Okay, so we, this comes up from time to time. If you're the one that likes the privacy, they won't try to cross your boundaries. I've been talking about this lately, too. Green flag people. Okay, those are, we talk all the time about the red flags. We're always hunkered down, warning each other and you know, trying to use the tarot as a shield. This is the green flag. This is somebody who remembers all the small details about you. And it makes you feel listened to. It makes you feel valued. It's somebody that when you spend time with them, you walk away and you feel better for it. You feel more secure. You feel lighter. It's just that type of person. That's what you're attracting over here. Or situation, whatever it is, it's going to be one of those green flags where it just feels easy. So I mentioned before with this Knight of Wands, the way I got this at first was like somebody in the past that was pushing you. And I, I like this card normally, but I do feel like it caused some confusion and it caused some complications. And so if it was something monetary and there was a, even a big swift change where you work and some things didn't get taken care of, or even if it was a business that you started and you didn't get paid like you should have, there wasn't it feels like there was not enough attention to detail, whatever this was. It's like, let's hurry up and get this. We'll pay attention to the details later. We'll iron that out later. And it's like it didn't work out by doing that. Sometimes this can be okay, but in this case, with the Seven of Cups right after it, it's not. It caused a bit of confusion, and it may have caused a lot more loose ends than you had planned for or bargained for. So if that's the case, I do feel like that's going to get taken care of and handled, especially if you're owed money. Now, with the Seven of Cups here, this is that damn Daydreamer's Torment card. Now, for some of you, too, if it was a relationship, if you got involved with a player or you had somebody who left very suddenly and it kind of left you like, I did not see that coming. And it even left you a bit, you know, there's a little bit of a broken heart here. Like, you know, I didn't see that coming. Now what? Or how did I get here? How did we get here? Whatever that was, it feels like that to me. But it's also to a card of telling you that with the sevens that you're always on top, you're protected and the tarot helps to guide you. 
So I feel like they're saying it's time to quit evaluating if there's something that you keep trying to figure out the answer to because the answers are coming in. And that's what's going to bring the true freedom. And so the Six of Pentacles brings some resolution. Again, these sixes are all about beauty, harmony, reciprocity. And so with this one, though, it also brings in balance, a nice dose of balance. This is exactly what we need here. And so, like I said, if you did some sort of work and you weren't compensated for it, I also feel like, too, if you had a job that ended somehow, I feel like you're going to have more offers for work, especially people who know that you're available. You may find that you can't quite keep up with the demand, but you are going to have an increase in money. And so those of you, too, if you, if you, with that increase, whatever it is, with that four of pentacles, you may find that you're a bit protective of yourself. You're a bit guarded if something did end abruptly. And so like we said at the beginning of the reading, that's what this is about, all this protection. And it's like the tarot is trying to fervently reassure you that everything's going to be okay. But with money, you know, we like money because it feels like freedom. And when we don't have it, we get scared. And so I feel like whatever this is, it's sort of a protective kind of a preemptive uh, strike. You know, I don't I don't want to get burned financially, so I'm going to hunker down for a while. I don't feel like you have any, this is not lack as much as it feels very intentional. Like I'm going to make some different choices because I don't want to, I heard get caught with my pants down. I feel like they mean that financially. But anyway, I wouldn't want to get it in the other way either though. I mean, nobody likes that, but either, <laughs> either way with the sun, you're attracting success, okay? It's peace, it's joy, it's contentment. It's also a time of enlightenment, so understanding things more clearly. Whatever confused and confounded you, not anymore. It's also, too, attracting people who will be easily understood. These are people that are straightforward. They're situations that are straightforward, and they, too, they really do whatever this is you're going to be proud of it, okay? Anything you create, any changes you make, you're going to feel a big sense of relief, but also a big sense of accomplishment. And so it's like a new lease on life. It's also, too, attracting very high vibrational situations. It's people who match you. It's situations where people want to set you up for success. These are the green flags we're talking about, all the green flags that we got to start focusing on. Because I think we get so stuck on trying to protect ourselves. We watch video after video about how to spot a narcissist instead of watching videos about how to get what we want, how to attract the people we want or the situations, how to improve. And so, although we watch those too, but we still, right, right, we like to know what do I need to watch out for here? What do you need to warn me against? And so with this, there's no warning. It's go ahead. The Ace of Wands is also a great card too in terms of a new beginning that will expand easily. Any new hobbies you start in this energy are going to be like a natural fit. They're going to feel like something you want to do. You'll say, I'm almost addictive to this. Whether it's puzzles or, you know, music or a sport that you're getting out and playing or a new gym or a new workout class or even some kind of, I see like somebody with those goggles, those ocular things. I forget what those are called, but they're like, um, the ones that uh, are like simulators, you know, even that, okay, even if that's for you. I don't personally like simulation rides, so I don't know what I would do with those goggles. I've been on the Harry Potter ride at Disney probably three times before I realized it nauseates me. And it just seems like a good idea until you get off and you go, I don't think I like that. Um, but it's a great ride, okay? I'm just saying for me, I, I got sick on the teacups too, but yeah, I got vertigo, but that's all right. I'm just not meant for certain things. Anyway, with this... um. Wheel of Life, it is, like I said, answers to questions coming in, okay? You are going to have an unexpected opportunity here. If you're single, you're going to meet somebody that you have here. I never told you this before, did I? You have Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus is here. You got fire, water, air, all the elements, earth too. And so with this, this is the one where you will know what to hang on to and what to let go of, but your world is about to get rocked here, Scorpio. It is about to improve greatly. So this wheel always spins in your favor. Get ready to receive discounts. Get ready to, if you're trying to sell something, I told you before, you're going to get more money than you thought. If it's about meeting people too, with these two together, I'm telling you what, get your sunglasses on because it's going to be a bright, bright beginning. So let's see now what the Fortune Oracle wants to tell you. What else does Scorpio need to know about money?
You've got the key, new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. And you've got here from the Whispers of Love. I love you. I haven't seen this card in a long time. These are powerful words. So again, you may find too, if people say it to you in the day to day, they say, oh, I love you. Take that into account. That's the universe sending you love, sending you support. Good things are on the way for you, Scorpio. I love you. I love you again. And I'll be back again soon.